Welcome to Frisky Frankston. Does your dog must stinks or good? How is your clean dog's teeth? I'm going to introduce from cheapest, simple, easiest way to very advanced, expensive way. Number one, just a girl's. You're gonna just wrap girls around your finger. Take a slime off. That will help even just not washing. If you don't want to, you don't have a time. It's so easy, so easy. Get the slime off from the teeth. Number two, toothbrush, of course, or either the finger one. And I use natural product, so just the coconut oil. Like you think it. I like it. I do not like it. Brush, 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 brush. And at least three times a week is a recommended. Every day would be the ideal. Mommy, I hate brushing, but a coconut oil tastes good. Really love the coconut oil, so she doesn't really mind it. Japanese yeah, I'll tell you one more time. I mind it, and then I don't like it. Brush, brush, brush. Brush, brush, brush. So the different type of the brushing. There you go, baby. So Rio and Luna are eating raw food, gnawing at bone. They don't have a turtle buildup at all. No turtle buildup. Very healthy skin and gum. There you go. No turtle. Really, really good. Good boy. Good boy, Rio. This is an Emmy pet. This is an ultrasonic. No, it's not an ultrasonic. This is an ultrasound toothbrush. This ultrasound, what they do is kill the bacteria on the spot, just a contact. It will penetrate one inch under the gum line and break up the tartar and then falling off. And then I will show you toothpaste and then I chose not the dog one I chose the human one but with the natural one so no harmful chemicals in it no paraben no harmful and then it's really I need help. I'm getting good a but it tastes really not desirable for the dog so they don't like it but they can tour okay there you go oh real real there you go real okay are you okay real Oh, 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 okay. Toothpaste goes in there. You're gonna wet the toothbrush and turn the ultrasound on. It, it is coming from, emitting from here. Put the toothpaste all over his teeth first. And then it just 10 seconds each part. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine ten another section one two three and you don't have to buy this device you can also hire somebody to do it and i am trained to do uh the k9 uh dental cleaning not the veterinary one i cannot go to the under the gum line i can do this and also i can scale their teeth i'm trained to do so and without anesthesia but when it gets the but that it, that treatment is a preventative as well if that gingivitis goes into more than stage two yes you have to go to the dentist to get that treatment done under that yeah anesthesia right okay nine is the one that is usually getting dirty so i'm gonna just do extra and kinesio teeth that's the biggest teeth that's uh, getting really uh, the bills up especially for the dog eating kibbles okay and canine and kinesio i will show you that my past clients the teeth before and then after now you will see what to look for this is a Mozilla Giant Schnauzer Doodle Max, one year old. She already have a buildup with and a minor breeding on the gum upper, and the lower is completely clean. This is a one year old George Springer Spaniel, already have a buildup upper and a completely clean underneath. 
This is the Stewie. I believe it's a couple years old. Heavy, heavy turtle buildup and only one session by the Emmy Pet and then one chunk fall off. This is a seven years old Shichu. Severe gingivitis. Need to go to see vet. And this is his sister. Um, uh, it's a severe, severe gingivitis and then the gum is a recess and then the teeth is rotten and loose. What's the difference between non-anesthesia or the vet is non-anesthesia one, at least in Canada, we are not authorized to go under the gum line. Just above the gum line, we can clean it. And then a major, major tartar, we can remove it. But underneath, and we are not allowed to, so this will kicking in. And this won't break the heavy tartar in one shot. We have to do numerous series of tre uh, the treatment and then it will eventually break it off and then get the healthy gum. Only, as I can, I say, only up to stage two. Stage three, stage four, the vet has to get involved because it really damaged the gum and the bacteria is heavy. So this cleaning, no anesthesia or this is the only preventative. And then once they start the major disease, and a vet has to get involved. And every day, I will look into their mouth, and then you will just look into their mouth. No tumor, no bleeding, red stuff around. If you see any, you have to go to see vet. Life-threatening tumor, the skin cancer. Very popular, starting from the mouth, start from the between toes as well. That happened to my uh, the head trainer's dog, Luna, and then she's surviving and she's fighting over right now. It comes somewhere. Of course, it's developed from any place of the skin. You can detect it from the body, but you have to open the mouth quite frequently to see any discoloring, any tumor, no fractures. That's a preventative measure that you can do easily at home and save your dog's life and also as well as saving a vet bill. So turtle build up is depends on how they eat and what they eat. Is it recommended if the dog is raw fed like this one and the build up is so minimum extremely minimum another way to clean or that they can self-clean is gnawing bone and a raw fat dog usually eat the meaty bones or the small bones and they are part of the calcium and then they just crack it and then they will just remove the tartar by themselves right veal but a kibble eaters yes you have to brush your teeth and then you have to at least take a slime off. The back teeth and the gingivitis and getting to the stage three and even the stage four is very dangerous to their heart. It go that the bacteria going to the bloodstream, going to the brain or going to the internal organs. And then that's the very becoming the life threatening. So you have to prevent that ahead of time. And then this is the easiest way to prevent. It doesn't cost you a dime. Any pet, I hate the moles, it doesn't get taste one, good, two, it's not three. coconut, oh, mommy's yes. brushing my teeth, I'm appreciate it, but I hate it. So also, her teeth are very healthy, no turtle buildup. I don't know if you can see it, yeah, no turtle buildup, and very clean. Hey mom, stop it, I feel like I'm very violated. This is a professional way to doing it, but in another way that you can check their teeth or clean teeth is they're going upside down and a small dog will do the wrapping and then he is get used to it, so he will do it. So you're gonna squeeze the two, two legs and then it, pretty much they're gonna cooperate, right? And then you can look at the teeth, gum, inside, Another way, and then they will be fine. And 
advanced uh, the heavy 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 uh, build up I use the scale to take that off but I use this to get the uh, most of the turtle broken off and folding off itself and then any leftover I will go in there and then scale it off awesome Awesome. Yes, awesome. The cleaning is a bullet stick as well. They're gonna chew, chew, chew this. Uh, for our dog, it takes a half an hour at least to chew this. And then it becomes a dental frost for them. And then it just uh, cleans the tartar off from their teeth. Another way, okay, if you are not raw fat, and this will gross you out so you can just turn your eyes off for a bit. Another way is a small bond. I use rabbit feet with a fur on. This fur become natural dewormer. So our dog get every six months to the one year. We don't do deworming and we will do the stool check to see that they have a worm or not but it hasn't been no worm for last five years. I treat it naturally. Everything is natural in our house. And this is a rabbit feet. It's a bone in there. It will help clean their teeth and this far, it will clean the intestine. Also, another tool I use is this dental chewing toy and I smear peanut butter around here. They do the leaking and also they have to just use the teeth to get the peanut butter out of it. Or you can insert the treat and they just chew, 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 try to get that things out of it. So it, it becomes a toothbrush for them. And then, but after that, you make sure that no food residue around their teeth left. That's what causing a tartar. Thank you for watching. See you next time. I wash it and I sanitize it, disinfect it.